Hi, we're back again. We're doing more videos. This is working together um, two hyphen three. We've done this, so I'm in MindTap, and I believe you should know how to get there by now. So I'm just going to click on working the papers two hyphen three, and we're going to do working together. And I already have my textbook open over here, which is this book here, and I scroll down to um, two hyphen three working together. So here's my list of accounts. Now remember I can only use the accounts listed there. Um, this opens up my transactions here but I also have it over here on the right side so I can get it both places. So if I go ahead and start off with this on March 11th this is sold on account to uh, Johannes Erickson and that's a customer so that's accounts receivable and they're a really good customer. That's why we're letting them charge their purchases or their services with the promise to pay us in like 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. So accounts receivable. Um, then the other account's going to be sales. So accounts receivable is an asset. Sales is an owner's equity account. And so to increase that, I would credit. So I have to increase the accounts receivable for Ericsson and it's also an increase to sales which is the owner's equity account. So now I'm on to March 13th. It says receive cash from sales. So this is like at the cash register. So cash is going to be my debit for $260. And that can include checks, credit cards, whatever goes through the cash register. And then sales would be my credit. So cash is an asset, and that's a debit of 260, and then sales is an owner's equity account, and that's a credit of $260. Okay, so a couple new accounts you've been just introduced to. So on the 14th, paid cash for the telephone bill. Um, that's an expense account, and we usually, like telephone bill, water bill, electric bill, we put in the utilities expense, and that's a debit for $54. Cash would be my credit for $54 because I paid cash. So I increased owner's e utilities expense with a debit which lowers the owner's equity and I did a credit to cash which decreases the cash asset. But it's kind of the cost of doing business so you gotta do those bills. So on the 16th, receive cash on account from Johannes Erickson. So cash would be my debit because I always do debits first. And it's $125. And then accounts receivable, Johanna, Johannes Erickson for $125. And so if I scrolled up and looked at the original transaction, so now their account zero. They don't owe us any money. They paid it in full. So it works out pretty good. We made a sale, we got money, we're making money, owner's equity is increasing, so we're happy. So pay cash the owner for withdrawal of equity of $200. So that would be John Jensen's drawing account. That's new. So remember, an owner can only do two things. They can invest or they can withdraw assets from the business. So in this case, he did $200 and drawing and he took it from cash of two hundred dollars and so and it's his money so he can put it in take it out whenever he likes to but there's only two things an owner can do he can invest in the business by putting more money into it or he can take money out of it and that's a withdrawal and that's working together two three you should be able to do on your own and you should also do the application problems to hyphen three so good luck and enjoy